Hey guys, Hamstwell here, and welcome to another episode of Lone Wolf Leveling. We're back here with my shaman, still in the hinterlands, because I want to kind of finish up the Jinta lore quest, and from there on out, we'll choose a different zone. But for now, let's get started. Now, in case you're wondering why I'm not doing any dungeons, is because, truthfully, the dungeons here on Tari, if you queue up, you're going to be queued up with people that are just fully decked out in heirlooms. So those dungeons are just going to be an absolute complete face roll, and it's just going to be even easier for me, and I'll get funneled gear and everything like that. So that's going to make it even easier to level. And of course, I don't want to make leveling even easier. I'm going to try and make it harder for myself. So yeah, for now, I'm just going to skip the dungeon. And of course, later on, when I get close to max level, I will, of course, uh, do dungeons, try and gear up. Because I still have that goal of uh, minimum item level of 500. So um, whether we get that, I'm not sure. But I think I will. I mean, I've leveled a shaman before here, so it should be doable. But for now, during leveling, at least in the lower level zones, no dungeons. Okay, here we are, back again. Now, I kind of want to just skip all of this, because I don't need anything here. What I need is stuff on the top of Jintalor. So let's see if I can... Yes, there we go. Might aggro a thing or two. Yeah, there we go. That's okay. Yeah, I'm going to try and just run all the way to the top. And if it gets a little too crazy, I'll just stop and kill these guys. Alright, there we go. I skipped everything. Nice. Let me just keep running until I drop threat. There we go. Or uh, aggro, I mean. Nice. Alright, so let's start off with killing five soul eaters and five blood drinkers. Sure, let's go. Oh, and wow, a 1,402 Wind Fury right out of the gates. Nice. That is a new record. That's pretty sick. Oh, we got to enrage this guy. I'm not sure why he's not fighting back right now. Like, I'm killing you. Why are you not fighting back? But okay, I think uh, when he drops the low health, he'll uh, break free and uh, go on a frenzy. Yes, there we go. All right, and meanwhile, I'm to making my way up north because I need six venom samples from these guys and a thousand forty-seven wind for a single crit. Yeah, oh, 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 nice. Oh, and there's a few iron deposits, or at least one I see on my map. Nice. Yeah, we're doing some damage right now. Still rolling around with that uh, <laughs> crappy-looking staff, but it does damage. And there we go, that's the last one. Easy. Alright, now let's finish up this quest. It's ours now, so three more soul eaters and three blood drinkers. And I just realized I have to go to Capital City to train my next level of mining. And I'm also pretty close with uh, skinning. I think I should probably uh, level mining a little bit more. And uh, make sure that's uh, on point when I move to the next zones, of course. Right now, I'm not making uh, a whole, like a really big detour to uh, get more mining because uh, I'm sitting in a very comfortable 1,000 gold at level 35, which is really good. So I'm just, um, right now, I'm just making sure that uh, my mining level is, um, you know, comparable to the zones that I'm in. And hey, if I ever need more money, I can just uh, do another mining route and uh, do it that way. But so far. We're uh, definitely uh, ahead of schedule in terms of financing all my uh, mount skill. Got enough, of course, for epic uh, ground mount, which is like 40 gold, so almost nothing. I got enough for the level 60 uh, flying skill and the flight master's license to fly in uh, Azeroth. And uh, I think cold weather flying was like 700. I'm not sure anymore, but so. But that's but again, that's like level 70 or something. So we got a lot of time left to uh, get more money. And there we go, that's the last of the Blood Drinkers and the Shadow Hunters. So now let's turn back and uh, get some XP. Alright, let's see what I get. Oh, there we go, another quest. Oh, nice, okay. Oh, uh, there we go. Uh, ooh, new shoulders, okay, okay. And nice, look at that, almost level 36. Okay, so I'm almost level 36, so technically I'm already ready to move on, but I kind of really want to finish up the Jinth Allure quest here, because I'm not sure if this is going to give me, like, maybe a blue weapon or something, because it's kind of a big quest chain, if you will. So, 
I mean, I could just look it up, but I like the surprise element, so let's just do it. And this is still a yellow quest, so it's really good XP. I just gotta make sure to uh, get to the top again without uh, getting killed. That's the only thing I don't like about the Jint lore quest, at least the way they did it now. Where you have to run back multiple times. Where you have to go back and, of course, you don't want to kill all of this, you have no quests here. So you gotta kind of, every time, you gotta get to the top without dying. What do we need? Eight spider idols. Do I need to kill the spiders again or what? Oh no, I just need to loot these corpses. Oh, that's very easy. Okay. And there we go. Wow. <laughs> Aside from uh, trying to get to the top and avoiding all the mobs, this is probably the uh, one of the easiest quests ever. There we go. Okay, let's head back and uh, let's see if we um, maybe get like a, a cool follow-up with a cool blue item or something. I don't know. I'm kind of hoping for it. I'm not sure. Someone who's... Um, well known with Miss Pandaria questing content or cataclysm content is going to be like, You idiot, there's no blue weapon, what are you doing? Oh well, we'll see. Alright, here we go. Yeah, level 36. Okay, okay, obtain the Tablet of Shadra. So, let's see here, we got a dagger. Uh, unfortunately, nothing I really need. And, oh! Oh, this is instant complete? Oh, okay. Alright, well, I'm not complaining, but okay, there we go. Nice, and almost 10,000 experience from that, so... Yeah, definitely worth it. Wow. See, that's what I mean. This is what I would encounter in random dungeons. Some guy fully decked out in heirloom gear. <laughs> crazy mount. Probably can, like, one-shot the entire place solo at all, even though he's a rogue. So that's what I kind of want to avoid, because then it becomes way too easy. And I'm just going to get funneled gear. Like, oh, this blue item, this blue item. Everyone's going to pass because they, they got heirlooms. So I'm just going to get, uh, you know, showered with blue items. And then, of course, it becomes a little too easy. I want these um, quest greens and everything to kind of still matter. I mean, that's kind of the, um, the fun way of leveling like this. I mean, I'm rolling around with a green staff, but I was very happy to have that. So, yeah. No dungeons for now. All right, let's see here. 3,400 XP. Oh, I remember these. Let's see. This one. Let's see if this is actually worth it. Okay, we got a slightly bigger, uh, better belt. I think I'm going to do these ones real quick because they are super fast. They're over here. And uh, yeah, we'll do these very quickly. And then we will... I think I'm going to go Feralus, actually. I kind of like Feralus. Love that zone. Like I said before, I'm just a sucker for kind of lush green... Nature, hippie kind of zones, I guess. <laughs> I like it. Nice. Look at that. One Winfrey proc and an Earth Shock, and uh, they're going, they're dropping pretty fast, so. It's kind of nice. And also, the experience is really nice when I'm rested. Look at that. 822 for just one kill. Because, of course, uh, Tari is two times rate, but when you have experience, of course, it's four times rate. Not for quests, of course, but for killing mobs. So that uh, definitely adds up. And we just got to go in here and loot this item. Alright, and there you go. That's it. Five eggs. And the Eye of Shadra. And we're done. You know what? I actually decided uh, to go uh, to Western Plague Lands Because I kind of like Feralus. The problem is when you go to Feralus, uh, the next zone is Thousand Needles for level 40 to 45. And I hate Thousand Needles. I hate what they did to it. It's now just a giant, like, water zone. It's, it's, uh... <laughs> it's like a knockoff version of Waterworld, basically. I don't know. I don't know if anyone even remembers that uh, movie. It's uh, kind of an old movie, actually. But, uh, I don't know, man. With the whole water element, and it's kind of, it's kind of cool that you do get your own boat and you travel around a little bit. But, I don't know, those quests never really got to me. And I think I have a little bit more connection with uh, Western and Eastern Plague Lands. And especially because I barely ever do those zones. So I think that'll be more interesting. For now though, let's hand in these quests. And there we go. And yeah, let's see here. Shall I go? I mean, this is still... Yeah, I mean, we're almost level 37. So yeah, let's go to, uh, let's go to Western Plague Lands. Alright, here we go. Off to the Western Plague Lands. What do you require? All right, nice. Here we are. 
yeah, I am. Um, when I'm looking back, actually, I think I did this maybe two or three times, considering how many, uh, and considering how many alt I leveled here. That's actually very little with uh, Cataclysm and Mr. Badara counting, so, yeah, this will be interesting. Um, before we go, though, I kind of want to, yeah, I'm going to go to Undercity real quick, get my next level of mining, and then we can get started here. You know what? Maybe there was actually a mining trainer in the, at Anderhal. <laughs> I didn't even think of that because I know that after Wrath Lich King, or actually during Wrath Lich King already, I think they kind of added more uh, profession trainers everywhere. But, uh, oh well. I mean, Undercity was close, so it just, ta it just takes a few minutes. But <laughs> maybe I should have checked first. I know. Some guy, once again, is going to be in the, in the comment section. Oh my god, you idiot! There was a mining trainer right next to you. Boom. Sorry. <laughs> and you are. All right, here we go. Expert mining, and we got some smelting skill. Nice. All right, let's do some more quests. Okay, now this quest, I kind of got to pay attention here, because this... Let's see here. I got to be careful here, because I know I remember dying to this quest once. I just very carefully. There we go. And then just slowly but surely move in. Drop the bomb. Okay. Nice. All right. There we go. Because <laughs> I remember one time I just kind of zerged in, not really paying that much attention, and I died in less than a second. So, all right. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So let's keep on killing these desecrated... De oh, desiccated. Or desiccated? How do you pronounce that? Someone in the chat let me know. Is it desiccated or desiccated? I don't know. I think it's the first one. We gotta kill these, these spearmen. And of course, these open gut behemoths. You know, when I was younger, of course, English is not my first language. I actually thought you pronounced behemoth behemoth. <laughs> so I kept saying behemoth. Which was uh, probably very cringe-inducing to anyone out there that had uh, English as their na a native language. But, you know, I was a kid. I didn't know any better. So, uh, cut me some slack, will ya? And, of course, later someone corrected me. He's like, no, it's Behemoth. And I was like, oh. So, are you telling me I've been saying it wrong for all these years? He was like, yep. Oh, damn. Don't I look stupid with egg? Don't I look stupid with egg on my face? Oh, wait, why am I killing these? Oh, well more free XP. And we're almost level 37 by the way, so definitely uh, moving along. Damn, and those Wind Fury single crits, man. 1147. Like, I know it's not a huge amount, but I think if I was like Elemental with Lava Burst, I would be hitting, I'd say about for 800 to 1000 right now with Lava Burst, considering like with no heirlooms, of course. So, the two-handed damage is actually quite strong if I do get a Wind Fury proc and one of those uh, hits is a critical strike, so... Definitely not complaining. Though I would really like to have a um, real enhancement weapon, like some sort of like nice two-handed axe or a mace or something, because, not gonna lie, I look a little stupid with the staff, but... Oh well, it is working. And there we go, level 37. And there we go. 15 out of 15. Nice. Let's head back and uh, hand him some quests. And we'll do the next uh, batch of quests, of course. Alright, here we go. Nice. Oh, that's too high level? Oh, okay. Guess we'll return later. Oh, nice. Look at that. Finally some proper enhancement boots. That's definitely something I've been missing. We gotta kill Arage the Summoner. You may use Jarl's hand grenades. Okay, okay. Sure. And there's not a quest here. Oh, there we go. Now we got it. Oh, because we... Uh, there we go. Darkmaster Gandling. Okay. Throwback to uh, Skullmance. And the Ravinian. Okay, so three mobs. Let's go. Okay, so the Ravinian. Ah, there we go. He's in here. Oh, he's elite. Oh, okay. Let's see. Does he do a ton of damage? Not really. He, he slaps a little bit, but it's okay. We just gotta... Oh, oh, okay, okay, he does slap a little bit. One second, let me pop down this, pop down this. 
All right, we got this. We got this. Just watch my health. Yeah, he does some damage. He does some damage, but come on, let's go. Let's go. Storm Strike, Earth Shock. Yeah, you're dead. Nice. Okay, that's one. Okay, nice. There is Araj the Summoner. Let's kill him next. And he can drop, he can spawn these skeletons apparently. So when he does, we got our grenade to uh, kill them all. Okay, Frost Nova, that's fine. Yeah, he's pretty easy. There we go, let me heal myself up real quick. Oh, he got some... Oh, never mind. There is his phylactery, nice, okay. And now we just need Dark Master Gandling, which is south. He has six... Oh, he's a question mark, question mark. And he has 6.1k health, all right. Not to be underestimated, I think. Let me interrupt that. He is dropping, though. But it says here that I, I shouldn't kill him, apparently, or something. Because it says Dark Master Gantling dealt with. Okay, whatever that means. Oh, okay. Oh, we got uh, <laughs> both the Horde and the Lions fighting over his death. While I'm getting stunned. Okay, he's giving up the uh, city. All right. So now they are fighting. Okay, well, I don't care, guys. <laughs> I got my quest done. See ya. Don't care. I just... I'm just here for the XP, boys. Sorry. Let's see. Burn the time. Oh, elimination, elimination bracers. A little bit more agility. Then we have the phylactery of Kelpazad. Boom, level 38. And I get grounding totem. Nice. Okay, let me see. Where is grounding totem? Uh, do, 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 air totem, grounding totem, put that here on G. G for me is always grounding totem. Nice, okay. Alright, use the Ebon Gargoyle to collect. Alright, we can do that, definitely. And that's it for now in terms of gathering quests. Okay. Okay, let's see how this works. Ah, okay. Easy enough. Let me actually let me keybind this to uh, F. There we go. All right. Uh, oh, you're here, and then I guess over here. Yes, easy. Okay, let's gather some quests here. Oh, nice! Look at that. Oh, okay. This is interesting. We get we get a chest piece from this one, but also a ring. And I have zero rings yet, so I might actually go for the ring. But uh, we'll see. Okay, so this is low level. We don't need this. Yes, we want that one. And we gotta hand this in. We gotta report to some scout, I guess. Yep, that's good. All right, level 38. So we need about give or take two more levels, or like technically one and a half level. And then we have enough to move to the eastern plague lands. Okay, I need. Plague, Tangle, and I think these should drop it. Let's see if that's the case. Oh, there's a couple of uh, iron deposits here. Nice. Definitely going to get those. Oh, yeah. There we go. When, oh, you when you kill them, they drop the stuff. Okay. Easy enough. Oh, and I get to level skinning a little bit more. That's nice. Wow, look at that. That's a lot of iron ore deposits in just one place. Yeah, we're definitely going to get those. I mean, they're green. But it's still, hey, it's still money. And I get about 700 experience per node. So that's actually really good XP still. So yeah, we're definitely going to do that. And there's a diseased black bear here. I'm just going to kill this one. Because of course we need 12 more Plague Tangle. Nice, look at that. And let's see here. Uh, 150, okay, nice. And let's finish up this one. And then we'll do the Foxes and Hound quests. And there we go. Perfect. 20 out of 20. Let's move on to the next quest. Oh, you got the dogs here. And the uh, Lions Fox Hunters. Perfect. All right. So they're just around here, this place. So easy enough. Oh, hold on. Harris, a rare beast. All right, let's see. 4.4k health. So not anything crazy. I should be able to kill him. Yeah, there we go. I think this is going to give us a, a nice chunk of experience and hopefully, maybe a new weapon. 
I'm still keeping my fingers crossed. Let's see here, level 33, yeah, it's getting a little outdated now. Nice. Oh, we do have a headpiece with intellect, which is unfortunately nothing for me, but... Wow, 4,300 experience from killing that rare, nice. And I think right there is the camp I need to scout. Yeah, the Scarlet Crusade camp, let's see. Now, it used to be that you had to like kill all these surrounding mobs and destroy the tent and everything, but... Alright, <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's way easier than what it used to be. There we go, just run there and yeah, you got it. Okay, so we need one fox, ho fox hunter, one of those dogs, and four whitetail foxes, which I haven't been able to find, so... Let's see if I can find some. Oh, we got another rare. A Scarlet High Clarist. Okay. It's going to give us a nice chunk of experience as well. I think it's probably going to ding us. Let's see. Oh, yes. Yeah, kind of a nice hammer, though. Look at that. Where did you get that? Oh, no ding. No ding. But, oh. What? Level 57 <laughs> green shoulders from a level 36 mob. Okay. I mean, those are really good, actually. Tons, ton of agility. So, you're just going to hold on to those. Put that next to here. And, oh, I need 75 experience until I ding, so. Ah, and there we go. There are the foxes. Nice. Nice. Level 39. One more level, and I'm ready for the Eastern Plaguelands. Nice, and there we go. Four out of four. That's another bunch of quests completed. All right, now, this is tempting. Do I go for the ring? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go for the ring. The ring has stamina, int, and critical strike, but it's still really good, and I have no rings yet, so... I mean, the chest piece was really good, too, but screw it. I want to have a ring in there. Nice. Our first ring. Okay, let's do this one. We're just going to accept everything here. Nice. Okay, now I kind of need a vendor here. Yeah, perfect. Because I need to sell a whole bunch of crap. There we go. Don't need all of this. Don't need these boots or the plants or whatever. Gonna hold on to that silk cloth. I want to sell that. Maybe this bag is worth something. And let's see. Mm, there we go. That's a lot better. Nice. Okay, let's finish up this zone, because I'm uh, getting close to level 40, actually. And there's two quests I want to do here. We have to slay some uh, laborers. And uh, put the uh, drum here. Put some plague in some uh, locations here in this farm. And that probably is going to get me pretty close to level 40. And once we reach level 40, we'll move to the eastern plague lands. Okay, let's see how this works. I guess just here. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Do we need to click it, by the way, or anything? No, I think this is good. Yep. Okay. Nice. Oh, Jesus. Out of nowhere, there's a whole bunch of them. Okay, I gotta run here. There's like four or five of them. They're throwing their shoes at me. Okay. Okay, there we go. Wow. Yeah, I'm glad I ran, because that was a little too much... A little too many mobs for me. Gotta watch out here as I... Uh, Try and pass. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, let me see if I can carefully, carefully... Oh, no, I can't, but that's okay. Yeah, we should be able to kill these two. This shouldn't be too hard. Okay, here's the ranch house. Let's just clear this guy, and then we can plant the drum. Nice, that is number three. And the last one is near the windmill, so that's in the middle of the field. Alright, let's go. Also, a quick shout-out to Kasta Waifu, who uh, whispered me in-game. He knew I was leveling, so uh, it was uh, real fun uh, talking to you real quick. And he offered me to uh, give me some bags, but unfortunately, like I said before, no outside help. But uh, hey, man, thanks for reaching out for me, and uh, thanks for the offer. I always appreciate it. And that is the last of the laborers. Yes, let's go back and hand in these quests. Let's see, just got to hand in this one. Oh, nice. We're going to get an edgy stam ring. Oh, beautiful. Excellent. Okay, let me just equip this. Oh, we're almost level 40. So, what is this? 
Oh, this is an instant quest. Okay, sure. Laporte to Lindsay Ravenson. Yeah, let's do that one. Actually, we can do that one uh, while we make our way to Eastern Plaguelands because when we hand in that quest, we'll be almost level 40. And then we can uh, perfectly move on to the Eastern Plaguelands because that is 40 to 45. And we'll stay there until level 45. And from there on out, I think I will go to uh, Tanaris and then hit Ungoro and then probably like Silithus or something. And then we're ready for Outlands. So uh, slowly but surely, we're getting to max level. Oh, nice. This should get me to level 40. Yes. Excellent. Level 40, which means... We can get our fast mount. Nice. I gotta tell you, I really do like how in Cataclysm this zone kind of uh, healed. Because in Classic WoW there were definitely uh, some zones like Desolus or the, you know, the Western Plaguelands. Where there were quests from like the Druids, from the Scenarian Circle of course, trying to heal the land. And it's kind of cool because I always thought to myself, you know, it would be really cool if you'd actually see the progression of those Druids and other people trying to heal the land. And, uh, well, turns out you see that in uh, Cataclysm, so, yeah. Again, Cataclysm, probably not my favorite expansion, of course, but it was kind of cool to see that uh, world progression. It kind of makes sense. Yeah, there we go. Fast and Furious. Nice. And the Swift Timberwolf. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's much faster. Me likey. All right, turn our sun strike. What do you want us to do? Five death step miscreations. Okay, miscreations. <laughs> no, not miscreations. Oof, that was a big, big mess up from my end. I how to pronounce that. Oh, okay. These guys do some damage. Okay, I'm just gotta pay attention here. Let me just wind shear this. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's some green stuff on the ground. I guess I gotta not stand in that. Nice. Okay, pretty easy. Just kill the uh, these purifiers or put putrefiers. Okay. Just oh, and a 1438 wind fury. Damn, that has to be a new record. Oh, this is kind of crappy. I can't heal the dude, and he's almost dead. Hmm. Bit of a shame. Wait. Got an idea. I just need to get aggro. There we go. That works. Nice. All right. Five out of five. Ooh, when you get to insta complete and move on. But before we do that, let me just kill these. All right. Yes. What do we need? Ten samples of plague hound blood. Sure. I gotta tell you, these uh, plague hounds, damn, they're quite beefy. Take some time to kill them. And they do a fair bit of damage. I kind of got to watch my health here. Got to make sure I don't mess around too much. Because, again, they have a lot of hit points. And they uh, kind of eat away my damage a little bit. Alright, 6 out of 10. We're definitely moving along. And, meanwhile, we're almost over halfway to level 41. Nice. Though right now my rest experience is over, so it's going to be a little slower. But still, we're uh, definitely moving along quite nicely. Nice. And that is the last one. And, oh, I got to go back to Fiona. All right. Oh, and that is a nice chess piece. 8 Agi, 11 Stamina, 5 Haste. Hell yeah, don't mind if I do. Oh, that is awesome. All right, now for this quest, we need to kill these, but I see someone has already beat us to it. Oh, look at this. This guy here, okay. Full heirlooms, probably going to one-shot these like crazy. Oh, well, let's see if we can find some of our own. Because, of course, we can't group up and uh, let him help me. Of course, that would be cheating, especially <laughs> considering how many heirlooms he has. So let's just try and do it on our own. Nice, two out of eight. So yeah, definitely high drop chance. These mobs, uh, they're not too hard, but sometimes they're kind of bunched up together. So I remember last time I uh, went to this cave with another character here and I uh, died pretty fast because they were like too bunched up. So I really got to watch out here and make sure I don't pull too many because that will be my uh, 
My death sentence. Oh, almost level 41. Very close. We just gotta get Lieutenant Banshee's Bells from the shore of Thunder River. Sure. And in exchange... Oh, we're gonna get some nice male boots. Awesome. Oh, wow. And you're, oh, they're just um, they're just these herbs here. I thought they would be like uh, corpses of Banshees and you gotta like skin them or something. Nope, it's just as simple as this. Alright. Well, that's easy experience. Okay, we gotta head south now that we have... The Banshee's Belt, and we'll hit level 41. Awesome. Yeah, there we go. Now we just gotta board her caravan, and then we're uh, ready to rock to the next part. Nice. Once again, displaying the uh, good scripting of Tari Wow here. Uh, this is all working like a charm. Alright, here we are. And let's finish this quest, and let's uh, gather some new ones. Okay, now we gotta kill Zeldar the Outcast, and I believe he's probably in this uh, little troll crypt, if you will. So let's see if we can just carefully, carefully pull these. I don't want to pull too much, because I'm a little gimped right now, of course, with my uh, not-so-amazing gear. So this should be fine. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's already someone killing it. Oh, now I gotta wait for a respawn. I can't help him. This is my rule. No outside help. This is going to be a little bit cheating if I help him, so... We'll just uh, chill here a bit and wait for it to respawn. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's a little ad here. That's fine. Let's first kill the weaker guy. Nice. Now it's just you and me, Zeldar the Outcast. Oh, he has quite a bit of health, actually. Almost 10,000 hit points. Okay. Let me activate my uh, water shield here. Probably gonna have to heal myself a few times. Come on. Yes. Perfect. Alright. Let's get out of here. Haha. <laughs> there we go. Gotta love that earth grab totem. I just ran out and uh, used that earth grab totem. And there we go. We're in the clear. Oh, and actually, I need to uh, train my next level of skinning the first time I'm uh, in a town again. Because I'm at max level 225, so I can skin until mobs like level 47 with that plus 10. And then mining, uh, well I need to find a few more veins actually. Uh, mining starting to run a little bit behind, but I think so far our professions are looking pretty good. Okay, Pamela Redpath. Another pretty nostalgic classic quest. Pamela's doll, yes, okay, that is still the same, kind of the same at least. And we also have to find Joseph Redpath's hunting blade. But for now, let's find our doll, which should be in this uh, in these buildings. The parts, at least. See, there we go. There's one part. Yeah. And like before, it'll spawn some mobs. That is fine. I'm just gonna kill these off. And here we have the lone hunter. I guess we have to kill this. Yes. To find Joseph Redpath's sword. Nice. There we go. All right. That was pretty easy. Alright, there is Pamela's doll, and of course, the hunting blade, though no real reward, so I'm just gonna get some vendor stuff. And now we gotta talk to Carlin Redpath, sure. And almost, well not almost, but 34% left, and we're level 42. Nice, and there we go. That's the last of the plague bats, let's hand in these few quests. And uh, we might just ding level, uh, level 42 or be very close to it. Let's see. And nice. Yeah, we just dinged level 42. It was close, but we got it. And well, guys, I think this is a, a good moment to stop with the uh, Lone Wolf episode. It's been a longer one than usual, and I'll try to uh, make the next episodes longer as well as people tend to enjoy the longer episodes more. We got a lot of work done. We went from level 35 to all the way to level 42. And of course, next episode, I'm hoping to get to close to level 50, something along those lines. And we're going to finish up the quests here in Eastern Plaguelands and move on to Tanaris. And like I said, probably Unguru and then Silithus. And then we'll be able to do Outlands. But until all of that, we got quite far with our Shaman. I think so. I mean, we started like this. And now we're like this.
not much of a difference. Still rolling around with that uh, crappy uh, staff. Hoping to get a, a proper two-hander soon. But uh, yeah, for now, we're just going to have to roll like this. And as always, I want to thank you for watching this episode of Lone Wolf Leveling. I'll be back very soon. But until then, I'm Hamster Wheel, and have a good one.